What's new in ATP 2.02? Hello, I'm John Higday, architect on the risk management team at ITS Partners. Welcome to ITS Partners update on what's new in Semantic Advanced Threat Protection version 2.02. One of the features added is deploy ATP inline monitor mode. Network traffic passes through the appliance between the endpoints and the internet. Malicious files, websites, and traffic are logged for visibility, but are not blocked. Any threats that are found in inline monitor mode must be mitigated manually. Inline monitor mode is often used as a test for system performance and to analyze potential blocking behavior before blocking is implemented. The physical connection for inline block and inline monitor mode are identical, so no recabling is necessary when you switch between these modes. ATP inline blocking mode. Same as inline monitor mode, the network traffic passes through the appliance between the endpoints and the internet, but with inline blocking mode. File downloads, access websites, and traffic are considered malicious or blocked. Only inline block mode provides you real-time protection against threats. Note, in this release 2.02, file downloads through FTP protocol are not blocked in inline block mode. Semantic has also added an executive report. The executive report provides monthly visibility into recently infected endpoints and domains that target them, and open high and medium instances. As an administrator or controller, you can identify trends that occurred during the report's 30-day period based on your effort to remediate threats. Note the executive report only includes data from threat activity that is detected by ATP after you upgrade to ATP 2.02. No data appears prior to this release. Analyze process behaviors and system changes. Semantic endpoint protection uses semantic online network for advanced response, also known as sonar, technology for process behavior submissions and remediation. However, semantic endpoint protection provides no insight into the details of the sonar submissions. When you integrate semantic advanced threat protection ATP 2.02 and later with semantic endpoint protection, ATP can provide you with insight into the details of the sonar submissions. The information not only includes the system changes that occur, but also the file attributes. Perform indicators of compromised searches using the stick files. ATP lets you perform database searches using a structural threat information expression, also known as a stick file. Currently, ATP only supports searches of the ATP database using a stick file. Endpoint searches using a stick file are not supported. Only file hashes the SHA-256 or the MD5 within the indicators or report tags are searchable. No other objects in the stick file are queried. ATP has achieved certification from China's Ministry of Public Security, also known as MOPS. Improved notifications during software updates. When you perform an update of ATP, the update process has been improved to notify you of error conditions. Status of the update can be checked through the update status command. I'd like to thank everybody for attending this presentation, and I hope you all have a great day.